Good evening, everyone. What's up? It's just a satisfying meal. Topped it off the meat of desserts, Mr. Hot to speaking. Previously, there was a rant on McDonald's, and today it's going to be a video with Skype guest Troy Davini. Yo! And today's going to be a video on why reasons why VHS tapes are better than DVDs or Blu rays. Go ahead, Troy. You begin. First reason. Why? Why can't the rarities? There are rarities everywhere. Magnetic key video, Playhouse logo, Pyramid logo, TriStar logo. There are many logos for VHS tapes. Magnetic and key video are our favorite, though. And those are ra a rarity, those logos. There's many, there are many, Goodwill barely ever has rare VHS tapes, though. Some of these tapes have to be ordered off eBay, they're rare, and they're from the 80s, too, which actually is even, is, a, is another reason for why they're rare. <laughs> there's, like, there's DVDs, there's barely any rare DVDs at all. There's no, almost no rare, each DVD's literally the same, there's really no collector's edition, and the collector's editions suck as collector's edition items. A DVD is a DVD. That's basically it. What's the second reason? If we're finished with the first, if one's finished with the first. Oh yeah, the previews. Oh yeah. At least people don't have to sit through pre-long advertisements through a VHS tape, but they have to during a DVD. Like on VHS, if you don't want to watch a show, you can fast forward it. And people can't on it on a DVD. They have to sit through the five minutes of monotony. Oh, it's the third, third reason. Oh, the packaging. Ugh. The packaging is a is a piece of plastic, and the packaging is boring too on a DVD. The packaging is butt ugly. Like, there's nothing special about the packaging at all. It's just packaging. That's it. It doesn't. Like, the, like for example, eco cases. Oh, eco cases. They're anything but eco friendly. They're not even biodegradable. They're one use products. Who even uses one? How are those eco friendly if they're one use products? That doesn't make any sense. Eco-friendly means reusable, recyclable, and compost compostable. Those aren't even those aren't even one aspect of the three. They're they're like p plastic forks, literally, or paper plates, or styrofoam trays. They're literally like getting a school lunch and throwing it away, literally. Sorry for ranting, on, though. On VHS, they just come in simple circles and all kinds out. They take so much time and effort to break. Even I'm though, on Rip up, actually, what I meant. But at least the tape the, the tape does not need packaging. Much packaging. It just needs a little cardboard and that's it. Bro, it's on DVDs. There's way too much packaging. It's like they wasted money on this little packaging. They, why don't they put them in CD cases? Put the DVDs in CD cases. Not this silly DVD packaging nonsense. These eco quote-unquote eco quote unquote friendly packaging it's just a it's just a, a lump of plastic in the shape of a case and yes VHS tapes are breakable too they can they, they can't be broken as easily as a, as a DVD can DVDs can snap in half like CDs within 10 seconds and they can be scribbled all over if one drew on a VHS tape with the permanent marker on a few on a few locations, it wouldn't break as easily. But if one is in a DVD, oh, it'll break in a heartbeat. Yes, VHS takes so much time and effort to break. It takes like five minutes to break. Another aspect is that they they are a part of history. They're one aspect about the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s. Like for like, 25 I was years. Group in the 80s or 90s. For 25 years, they were a part of everyday life. An aspect of everyday life. 
Like that that was what families did. They put they pop in the VCR and watch the movie and and take it out and they would stack put the VHS tapes on a shelf where all the other VHS tapes go. And another aspect that all they need one one needs a VCR. Yes, it's this that's a disadvantage that they they can only work with VCRs. At least they pop in easily and pop out when, when, when right after they're done. When they're, yes, after they're done, they pop out. Time but that doesn't or mean the adjustments are perfect. They just have more redeemable qualities than the DVD, though. Like on DVD, that takes so much time and effort to put in. And they're stackable, too. A DVD won't stack as a, a DVD itself or seat, a compact disc. They stack, they don't stack as easily. They could fall off each other very easily and make a mess. At least, at least, at least it's not a circle. At least it's a square. At least it's a rectangle. It's rectangular shape enables it to be stacked easier. Oh yeah, another aspect: the shape. The shape is not as complicated. The shape actually fits with, blends in with other shapes. They can be, they can be put together because of their shape. The VHS tapes, and the price. They're like one or two or three dollars. They're usually at like two or. Three dollars at the already yard, a garage or yard sale at Goodwill. They're a dollar. For about twenty dollars, one could buy at least ten to fifteen tapes, movies, and it's there. DVDs, they're still expensive. They're like twenty dollars, thirty or forty dollars. Yeah, like twenty dollars or forty dollars. Movies aren't even worth buying anymore. Ah, VHS tapes don't scratch as easily. Yes, they're made off plastic. But at least their scratches aren't as noticeable. And their fingerprints. I mean, a fingerprint scratches barely even hurt a DVD. But a scratch can actually hurt a, a CD and make it break. It'll make the, the, the showing of the, the movie blurry and it'll no longer work. Same with a fingerprint. A fingerprint can just mess up a DVD too. And yet a fingerprint does almost nothing to a VHS tape. It's like, why are they so... It's a sensibility too. It's like... VHS tapes aren't as sensible to, to body parts, yet DVDs are. DVDs are, mo are much more sensible because of their metal, their, their material. And Like later. a DVD, it'll just freeze for seconds. Yeah, it's like DVDs are slow. Which is not what people want out of a DVD, a VHS tape. But thank goodness VHS tapes still exist. They stopped making them in 2006. But they're still being sold at like Goodwill, a couple like once again shops, like places that are like half price place. You know, like stores that sell items that people donate or don't want anymore. And yeah, that. VHS tapes are not perfect, but they have more redeemable qualities, so they win the battle between the VHS tape or the DVD. The DVD's only few redeemable qualities are that they are light, portable, and convenient. Like they can, they work for more than one device. The DVD, they work for um, DVD players, laptops, computers, etc. And they're smaller. That's about it, though. The on VHS. To stick to VHS tips, only if possible, though. It is recommended that one takes a look at them. There are many movies available, on, many more movies available on VHS tape compared to the um, DVD, probably. Like movies are not movies that have not been released on DVD yet. Yeah. That's correct. Any other thoughts before one wraps up this video? Um, no. Okay, cool. With that, D VHS tapes rule. DVDs have failed to, make, to meet the expectations of a VHS tape. With that, all there's to say for this um, video. See you on the next video. This is Mr. Hata and Mr. Divini. Signing off. Bye. Peace out. Yeah. Good.